r slash ask reddit what socially expected thing do you hate doing the most having to individually say goodbye to everyone at a family social gathering i'm all about the irish goodbye i compromise host gets the quiet goodbye so i can thank them etc everyone else get the irish goodbye i go home happy bingo select few and whoever i see on the way to the door holding babies when people offer me them i don't want to hold your potato it'll probably break it it's usually so awkward too most of the time the baby starts to cry and you have to do that oh it's okay go back to mommy now bullshit like two seconds later wait you can't just decline the offer i've declined holding my newborn nephew because i wasn't comfortable doing it you've really been in situations where you were forced to hold a baby oh yeah people will hold the baby out in the air at you then ask talking about myself resume college app interview etc i know right i have to make myself sound like a decent person who isn't a pile of shit i mean you might be even better if you didn't have a vendetta against breadsticks. I see I've met my arch enemy. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. But for real though, breadsticks are amazing. My username is just an inside joke. Excessive socializing. My family and friends have given me shit for going straight to my room after going out or hanging out with them all day. It's like, didn't you have enough of me? I definitely had enough of you. This is why I drifted away from my friends 6 years ago and found my wife. I also got tired of hanging out one on one always turning into now we're here where everyone is. As usual, I didn't exactly grow out of them. I just couldn't deal with the constant group socialization on a daily basis. And more and more people started coming into the picture who I disliked. And they were also there, every ducking time. Highly formal office clothes for 99% of people required to wear them. You sit at a desk all day, and the only other people who see you are your co-workers for most people. What function does that collar serve? Does it inhibit vertical neck movement so you keep your head down and work? Are dress shoes required to make you move less so you stay at your seat and work more? You should pull a full on office space. Come in wearing sandals with an untucked Hawaiian shirt while tossing around fish guts and knocking over cubicles. Just watched that movie a week ago after being recommended by Reddit endlessly. Great movie. Really liked it. Ass kissing to get a job. It feels disgusting. Even ass kissing aside. Just the whole bullshit routine one has to go through to get a job. It's all such nonsense. You're expected to have a resume that has horse shit. Nonsense words like facilitated, implemented, coordinated, streamlined, and at least 100 other horse shit. Nonsense words to make your past job sound way more important than they were. What's worse is that I know that HR people know damned well that it's all a bunch of BS. But it's expected anyway. Then. If you actually manage to get an interview, you're expected to put on a show about how you want to do something more than to exchange your services for money, and if you don't convince them of that, you remain jobless. That is especially aggravating for low level, bullshit jobs that no one would ever do if they had a choice and if it didn't provide an income. I, like most people, have an aversion to starving to death and living outside. As such, when a company is advertising a job, that means they have a lack of labor and a surplus of money. I have a surplus of labor and a lack of money. Therefore, in exchange for filling their labor deficit, I will accept them filling my money deficit, or at least reducing it. Why can't it be that simple god damn it? My first job interview was at a grocery store. I was considered for a position in the fruits and vegetables department. The dream. I know. When asked why I wanted to do this job I was honest and said I thought it was time for me to make some money and gain some independence. It felt like a fair answer. The guy then told me never to mention money in an interview. What the duck am I supposed to say then? Since I was a kid my passion was always stacking ducking cucumbers and bananas in shelves for 8 hours a day, please. Pretending that I want to advance in any job I have. No, I don't care about becoming a manager or whatnot. I took this job because it's what I wanted to do. I'm not interested in being paid to think about how other people should work harder. Especially as a college student, I'm here to pay my tuition. Not because I have aspirations of managing owning some shitty sandwich store. 
Manager at a chain restaurant here. I hire so many people just working through college. I couldn't care less if they plan on moving up or not. You come in with good attitudes and give me your 75% and once in a while. When it gets crazy 100%. That's all I ask. The higher ups come in and talk that crap. We want this to be the last job anyone here ever has. How delusional do you have to be to think these kids wanna work here forever? Or to think that is motivational to anyone? I hope I get to write recommendations for all these kids when they move on up in the world. I do okay for myself. But no one should have to work these long hard hours forever. Wearing a long sleeve shirt slacks tie. It's 113 degrees here in Fresno and I am tired of these uncomfortable clothes. I mean you do live in Fresno. Part of this is on you. Colon. This is probably only applicable to people who don't live alone, but having to entertain people who are not your friends when your family member slash flatmate leaves the room to go to the toilet or make a drink or something, it's so painfully awkward, but less awkward than blanking them for a couple of minutes. Looking at pictures of people's babies, it looks like every other baby. What am I meant to say? I was walking my rat terrier several years ago, he was white with black spots and a little bit of tan, and a woman approached me and commented on how much he looked like her pet cows. She then proceeded to show me a complete photo album of her cows, does she carry this with her everywhere? There were photos of her cows dress up for every holiday, and I got to see every one of them. She didn't seem like there was anything wrong with her, just really loved her cows. I'd enjoy that way more than pictures of someone's baby work? Can I just run away to the hills please? Any hills will do. I just wanted to live in a stone hut with a bunch of animals when I was 9. I was told this was an unacceptable life goal. Edit. Hi this grew. Re. Marriage proposals. Full disclaimer. I am a woman. And straight so if that's not a flavor you go for. No hard feelings. Also I was 9. I was thinking more hanging out in the woods with my animal friends than setting up a viable working farm that makes a profit, and specifically a stone hut because this was a dream that developed while on holiday in the Scottish Highlands. Lots of abandoned crofters cottages and I saw them and thought yes, perfect. You, you know you could do this, I mean, you need some money to buy some land, then you need income to pay taxes on it, but you can get that by selling skins or growing some crop and selling it. But then if you want fresh food in the winter you need to have more money so you need to grow more crops. Plus, if you want to keep using reddit you need internet and electricity and those you need to pay for too. And then you really need a significant income. And you'll want some people to help out growing the crops so you're not just working day and night. But you need to pay their wages with more crops and holy shit you're just running your own farm now. The whole hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good routine. For most people, I don't care how you are and you don't care how I am. Skip it. I've just boiled it down to good. Thanks. Cuts the conversation right then and there. I just give a brief nod as I walk by. Holiday socializing with my husband's high society southern Alabama family. Everyone is so full of shit. There's a whole ask me anything here waiting to happen. I find this kind of thing fascinating. So do I. One of my brothers married a woman from an old money Oklahoma family and I find them so strange and fascinating. I actually haven't seen them since the wedding 18 years ago but I hear stories. Like a couple years ago one of my other brothers was down that way for Christmas. And my sister-in-law's father asked him if he'd bought his first Porsche yet. Completely nonchalant like it was totally normal for everyone to buy multiple Porsches in their lives but definitely their first by the time they're 30. Being polite to everyone and the customer is always right bullshit. I work with bikes. They are the same as cars in terms of the size of the part is the size of the part. Just because you don't like the answer doesn't mean it's wrong. I had to politely argue with a guy today over how the bikes get longer and taller as they go up in size. He was adamant that this bike that I ride and sell does not grow in wheelbase between the small, his size, and the large, the one he was ordering. I'm a polite guy and just phrase it as we want you to get the bike that fits so you can enjoy the sport whilst being comfy and confident. He was trying to order a bike that would be way fit him. This is akin to a guy wanting a Porsche track car ordering a JCB. He ordered the bike. It got built. Didn't fit. Returned it and wasted everyone's time. Wish I could just say. You are wrong. 
I used to work for a game stop. Old lady comes in and asks for Mario for the Xbox. 20 minute argument about Mario being on the Xbox because her grandson told her and he's very smart. I just wanted to be listen lady. You're so old that your version of video games is rubbing your eyes a lot and seeing spots. Leave the gaming to me. I ended up telling her we don't carry it and should try Walmart. I had a customer ask for the very same thing. Mario on Xbox 360. I can't recall if it was their mistaken thinking or their grandchild's. But needless to say they were surprised to learn about franchise exclusivity. Going to boring social gatherings. Any sort of shower style event. Baby shower bridal shower. Can I just give you a present? Why do we have to play stupid games and then I have to watch you open all your gifts while your grandma breathes on me? Celebrating my birthday. I can't stand being the center of attention and it just causes me more anxiety to make plans and wait for people to show up than anything else. For like 10 years now I've just done a thing where I go to a Japanese steakhouse. My favorite type of restaurant with my close family for my birthday. Nobody sings or anything. We just go out, enjoy some teppanaki chicken and steak. And that's that. It's really low key and nice. Tipping. People should be paid a fair wage, not minimum wage. Tipping in coffee shops. Like why? You're making my drink and then I leave. It's not a continuous service. Small talk. Ugh. Walking down the street and passing someone you barely know, but just know well enough is my form of sticking needles in my eyeballs. Until you reach that magic length of time where it's been so long since you've spoken that you can walk past and pretend you don't see them. Phone calls. I can answer the phone just fine. I can dial into conference bridges just fine. I can retrieve voicemail just fine. But dialing someone individually? Whoa. Duck that. If I have to make a phone call I procrastinate like you would not believe. Just let me go to the toilet. Get another cup of coffee. Check my pension balance. Finish reading this article about aardvark racing. Buying holiday gifts for co-workers. At my company, it is expected that everyone get a little gift for everybody in the office. Individually the gifts aren't that expensive. But when buying for several people it adds up quickly. I resent that I have to spend money on people that I don't really care about that much. Having to come up with a reason for not doing something as opposed to just saying I don't want to. One of my friends once told us I'm not feeling social today. My other friends and I laughed about it at the time. But in retrospect, damn, more people should say that. Waking up in the morning. I don't get it. Seems like everyone hates it except the 3% of the population that gets to decide that rule. My body tells me it wants to be up at night and sleep in the morning. I will risk all the worms. I will never be the early bird. I was actually diagnosed with something called delayed sleep phase disorder. For as long as I remember, I just can't get tired before 3 or 4 am. Drugs help temporarily. Light dark therapy didn't do anything. So what I did was get a full remote job with a group in California while living on the east coast. They don't start moving until 10 am. So my go time is now 1 pm. I can't tell you how much my life improved after this. Before when I tried to force it, I just had constant mental lag. Some people are just not morning people. Period. Stupid icebreaker activities at seminars or events. No, I don't want to do a stupid dance to get the blood flowing. I'm here to learn something and get shit done. Not make friends. Get on with the damn program. Having a wedding when you get married. I suppose if you want to but the truth is to me they're a meaningless, stressful waste of money. Seeing relatives I don't like and having to get along with them. Especially when everyone agrees they're an a-hole. Yet I'm in the wrong for wanting to have nothing to do with them despite everyone hating having to interact with them. Sometimes I just don't feel like flirting with girls. Building up the courage. Going through with it. Trying to keep a conversation alive. It's like being forced to walk a flaming tightrope when after a long week of work all I want to do is get drunk with my friends and go to sleep. G Wearing a bra. If you don't need one. You don't really have to wear it. I wear a bra because my boobs are heavy and need support. Sometimes in tight dresses that hold them up. I don't wear a bra. Duck it. Kissing woman on the cheeks when I meet them. Ducking shake my hand Sharon. 
getting photographed. No I don't want you randomly snapping pictures of me mid sentence when I look stupid. No I don't want to post for you either. Shoving a ducking camera in my face when I'm minding my own business is rude and intrusive. Then when I ask for you to stop it seems to be licensed to hound me with oh I'm going to get you simply because you can. Duck my comfort. A. It's now your personal challenge to follow me around and take photos because you know I don't like it. Short of punching you in the face. Which of course I'm not going to do. I only have the option of appealing to your good graces to leave me the duck alone and it appears good graces are in short supply. It baffles me why people can't go with. Oh that bothers you? Sorry. I'll leave you be. Networking. I just hate surface valuation of other people. It could not make a difference to me whether you sweep floors or head an advertising company. At the end of the day, everyone is a person. In fact, I feel like the more accomplished someone is, the more likely they are to be a selfish person. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.